So in this video, I'm going to talk about what a balanced price range is, BPR, and also how you should use this ICT concept. But before we get into the video, if you'd like to engage with other traders, you can join my Discord, link in the description. So now let's get into the video. So what is a balanced price range? A balanced price range is when we get sell side delivery and buy side delivery within the same general range. So what do we have right here? Right here, we have a SIBI, a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. And what do we have over here? From this candle high to this candle low, we have a BISI, a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. And this BISI overlaps the SIBI. So the bearish failure gap gets overlapped by the bullish failure gap. So that means we create a balance price range. So you create a inversion failure gap that's within a bullish failure gap. So from the high, or sorry, the low of this candle down to the high of this candle, so basically the high of the bearish failure gap down to the low of the bull bullish failure gap, we create a balanced price range. So the range within here is a balanced price range. So when we see this kind of balanced price range where we have a CB and a BC, we want to see it relative close. So we don't want to see it happen days or weeks later. We want to see it happen when we have maybe a handful of candles down here and the people or the handful of candles down here that's going to be trapped shorts. So when we have the fast suicide delivery, there's going to be people shorting, so this is called trap shorts, and then price is going to make the buy side delivery. So people are trapped down here. And when we create a balanced price range, it also gives a kind of confirmation that price is willing to go higher and take out at least internal range liquidity. So now, how do we use a balanced price range? So we can use a balanced price range for, for confirmation or trading tree, just in general. So now I'm going to show you how you can use a balanced price range in a trading tree. So let's say we see we have a fast leg down. Then we have a handful of candles down here, which is trap shorts. And then we get a fast move up again. So then we already know we create a balanced price range, which leads to a confirmation that price is probably going to at least target the internal range liquidity, which we have up here. So in that case, we know we, where we want to be targeting price. So now let's say we were to enter at the balance price range the top or at the consequent encouragement. But in this case, price does not reach for the consequent encouragement. So let's just say we were to enter at the top and then put our stop loss at a reasonable, reasonable price where we think price will invalidate the idea or just a place where we think we get at least two risk reward ratio. So let's just say right here at the bottom of the opening candle and then target interim range liquidity, which will make a 2.0 risk reward ratio. Right here, there's also a, an example of how a balanced price range could look like. So as you see, instead of we have a handful of candles, we just have one candle right here, which helps forms the BPR. So as you see, we have the bearish CB right here. Then we have the one candle that also forms the bullish CB. So as you see right here. So this is also a classic example of how a balanced price range could look like. As you also see, the price respects this balanced price range. So if we were to take a trend entry off of this balanced price range, we could either enter the consequent encouragement. We're going to just show you where that is. Right here. So let's just say if we were to take a trend based off the consequent encouragement, put our stop loss at this low down here and then target internal range liquidity, which is up here. And that will only make a 1.7 risk reward ratio. So in that case, we could just target this high up here. But as you see, price takes out this high up here, but it was news driven, as you see right here. So that's also how a balanced price range could look like. So just an example of what a bearish BPR could look like. You see, we have the buy side delivery up here where we create this busy right here, which price overlaps. So basically, we have buy side delivery 
and then suicide delivery overlapping the bullish busy with a sippy. So we get a inversion vertical right here. So we go from this low or the this high up here up to this low up here. So that's what a bearish PPR looks like. So if we were to take a trade entry off of this bearish PPR, we could enter right when price touches the low of the bearish PPR and then put our stop loss at this high up here. And then target suicide liquidity down here or just any form of internal range liquidity. So that's how a bearish BPR looks like. So just an example of what I like to see when we form a balanced price range. And I shared this image with my Discord. So we see whenever price forms a short term low, and then we see price takes out sell side liquidity, also taking out that short term low. And then I want to see a fast delivery to the upside, creating a balanced price range. And after that, I want to see price come down to the balanced price range. And that's where we see price overlaps this balanced price range. But then I want to have my stop loss at this low down here. And the reason I want to have my stop loss at this low down here is because if price takes out this low, it is going to invalidate the idea of bullish momentum. Because if price does not take out the slow and we still overlap the balance price range, the idea of bullish price is still valid because then we form a intermediate term low and we form an intermediate term low. We don't want to see price make a retracement down into the intermediate term low before we hit our objective. So in that case, if you were to enter at the balance price range, you can enter at the top, put your stop loss down here because that's where the bullish idea would be disrespected and then target buy side liquidity up here so that's how i would trade a balanced price range that could potentially form a intermediate term low so for the next example we're going to talk about how we use the balanced price range as a confirmation tool so right here we see we create a balanced price range right here and we see that price does not make any form of retracement down into this balanced price range. So in that case, we can go into lower time frame. And use it as a confirmation tool. So right here, we create the balanced price range at this close right here. Right around here. So now that we know price is going to go higher, we can start looking for any form of PDA rate that would support the idea of higher prices. So in this case, we see that price forms this bullish further gap right here. And we see the price perfectly delivers from the consequent encouragement. So if we were to take a trading tree based off the idea that price respects the consequent encouragement, we could insert right around here and then put our stop loss at this swing low right here and then target buy side liquidity or the highest high of the so side of the curve. In that case, it will make a 6.9 risk reward ratio. So that's how we can use balance price ranges on the lower time frame as a confirmation tool. So that was it for this video and I hope you learned something. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And if there's anything you didn't really understand or if you have any questions or if there's any ICT concept that you want to learn more about, just comment down below. And if you're interested in engaging with the other traders, you can join my Discord, link in the description. It's totally free.